my brothers we have in shivajinagar st mary's basilica it is a minor basilica there are hundreds of minor basilicas all over the world but in the church we have four major basilicas situated in the city of rome the first of these is st lateran basilica already built from the 4th century after the conversion of constantine it is said constantine said this great house which is my palace should belong to the greatest one that is god that's why he gave the his palace to the church and then a basilica was built there and popes were residing for nearly 1000 years only in lateran basilica often we think st peter's basilica is the residence of the pope it was much later it was the center of the church very beautiful church originally it was dedicated to christ the lord our savior but later on in the middle ages both st john the baptist and john the evangelist were added as the patron of this church st john the lateran basilica that church is called the mother and head of all the churches not only of the city of rome but also of the whole world we have another great basilica that is the basilica of mary major which was built in the 5th century after the council of ephesus declared mary as the mother of god in the year 431 we commemorate it on august the 5th it is the optional memoria and then we have two more major basilicas that is of course the basilica of the apostles saint peter and paul prince of the apostles that we will be celebrating this month again as an optional memoria on november 18th these four basilicas are really significant they are called major basilicas what does any dedication of the church tell us first and foremost simple lesson is that as soon as some people join the seminary either in philosophy or theology they are appointed as sacristans it is to teach them that you have to take care of the place of worship very carefully later on also as priest you will be in charge of the churches chapels how you keep that place neat beautiful a place conducive for prayer a place that is meant for recollection that is one of the important things because we have to raise our minds and hearts constantly to god not only as sacristan how do you treat this place of grace especially for us catholics the presence of the holy eucharist how do you treat this place that is very important that's a simple lesson make a firm let's make a firm resolve today that we should keep our churches which are under our care or where we enter as a place of great respect devotion veneration that's the first thing so sometimes people make noise here you may come for so many things choir practice or this and that or how you really deal with this place tells upon your real commitment to god when are we go to a new convent sisters father come and uh, come to our chapel come and visit the chapel that's what is my experience also and most of the time they keep it very beautiful that's it coming to the more important lesson today the lord is telling us that he is the temple in the gospel they did not realize it maybe saint paul tells us we in turn are the temple you know the water flowing from the temple of jerusalem uh, is full is water that has life lot of fish it seems the trees were giving abundant fruits it seems 
and even the leaves were medicine itself we receive from jesus our lord his body and blood which gives us life in turn we are called to be giving life all the time wherever we go as temple of jesus christ we have to give life give healing produce life where it is not there as i have been repeated telling wherever we go we should make people happy we should be blessings to them that is our whole occasion today we have in the office of reading a beautiful sermon by saint cesaria falls very beautiful it is given do you want this building material building to shine uh, in that case what you have to do your life must shine do not darken your life by sin only then there is meaning in having material buildings beautiful and another lesson is you can't come to this place of grace and be the same again sakayus he was different you can't come into the present so many times we come morning prayer evening prayer midday prayer you can't go back the same again you encounter god we must be transformed may we take this lessons and may we realize that we are called to be the temple from the true temple jesus himself we receive life let us be temples which give life and healing may the participation in this eucharist motivate us in the right direction amen